guys, it's Sheila. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a comparison video on the Snorkel Anti-Snoring Mouthpiece versus a anti-snoring nose dilator. Uh, we're going to be discussing which one is better and actually worth your money. Before we hop into that, make sure you guys are subscribed to this channel. Hit the notification bell for future updates. Share this video with anyone you know who may snore and give this video a thumbs up. Today's video is done in collaboration with Snorkel. And I have been using Snorkel for quite a while now. But the interesting thing is the more that I use Snorkel, the more that I realize how much better my sleep is. And I noticed this the other day. So I went to sleep, I forgot to put my snorkel in, and I, like, the next day I visibly noticed how tired I was. Like, I looked more tired, <laughs> like, I didn't look as refreshed. Um, I just didn't feel as good. I didn't sleep as well. Um, so snoring is not just something that you want to avoid for someone else's sake. You also want to do it for yourself so that you feel your best, so that you are as refreshed as you can be. I just look and feel a lot better when I get a really, really good night's sleep. And the snorkel has helped me do that for over a year now. So I do have in-depth videos on how to use the snorkel, uh, but it's fairly simple and the instructions are on the back of the packaging. So you, um, it's very straightforward, simple. You're essentially going to put this in hot water for about 15 seconds. You'll put it in your mouth to set the mold and then you'll rinse it with cool water and then you're pretty much good to go. The great thing about the snorkel is that it does have 15 different adjustment combinations. Um, that's more than any of the other anti-snoring devices that I have tried. Um, and it also has the proprietary tongue bumper, which is very unique and different than any of the other devices that I've tried as well. Um, so it's super easy to adjust. You just pull it apart. It has these holes on the side here. You simply line the top and the bottom up with where you want it to be. So if you have a overbite or an underbite, you can adjust it accordingly. The tongue bumper is proprietary to Snorkel. A lot of other brands have a lot of other brands don't have anything to suppress the tongue and the few that do they're very thin like you know thin rubber band type material um, not something like this like quality and stable and has as much surface coverage of the tongue as the snorkel does um, and you can remove the tongue bumper so you may find that you don't like the tongue bumper you can also remove it as well um, you can either move it um, remove it all together or you can put it in the top holes or the bottom holes. Um, so literally that's that's it with using the snorkel. It's very simple to use. Literally, you're just gonna press the form together and you're good to go, you're ready to sleep. Um, and you pretty much only need to do this when you first get it um, because once you find the most comfortable position, then you're pretty much set, that's it. Um, very durable quality materials is what I really like about the snorkel and when I'm not using it I put it in its carrying case and we're good to go. Now what about nose dilators? So I do have some nose dilators that I've tried and they simply just they don't work as well as the snorkel does. Um, I found that for me the tongue suppressor is what really helped to stop the snoring. Um, with these, they do help to open up your nostrils at the ends to um, allegedly help to stop snoring. But for me, they didn't really work personally. Also, these are very easy to, to lose. Like this one is clear, you guys can see that. It is a clear little piece that literally pops inside your nose. And it is not the most comfortable either. Um, it pops inside your nose like that. You guys can see. And it's very uncomfortable. It's very uncomfortable and like for me, I tend to have a dry nose a lot. And I felt like this just made it more uncomfortable for me. Um, I feel like with the nose dilators, this to me is something that will probably be better 
um, not for snoring, but maybe if you had like a cold or a stuffy nose or something like that, maybe this could be useful. But as far as stopping snoring, not so much. And as thin as this plastic is, it's so thin, it's so flimsy, like it's not something that you're going to have a long time, so you have to continuously buy these and replace them. Um, and with this pack, they did give me three different sizes. Um, and you know, you kind of just have to hope that one of these sizes fits your nose. Whereas with the Snorkel, it actually stops the snoring and it has 15 different adjustment combinations so this will i feel like work for a wider range of people than the nose dilators would so i would highly recommend the snorkel over the nose dilators just because the snorkel more adjustability it actually stops snoring um it actually has the tongue suppressor the the tongue bumper that suppresses your tongue that helps you stop snoring like all in all it's just a much better solution to snoring than a nose dilator is any day of the week so i would highly recommend heading over to snorkel.com you can use my discount code sheila free for free shipping at checkout uh, thank you guys for watching this video as always and i will see you guys soon for another video bye